All right, folks, it's going on about 7 p.m. Uh, I just loaded up. Uh, I'll probably do a load two, maybe even three after this one. Um, as you can see, yes, these are filled up very excessively. Um, without popping tires or doing damage. Um, <clears throat> you know, gambling a little bit and filling them up excessively, you know, every four loads, maybe every five loads, you gain a load. And that's pretty important, especially when you're looking at dozens and dozens of them. So that's that's my excuse for a pretty heavily piled uh, manure spreader. Not to mention, I'm not going down any asphalt past any neighbors. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. You try not to spill any anyway on the road. But um, anyway, that's what I got to say about that. All right. Uh, the heifer lot actually is not as bad as I thought it would be uh, compared to other years this is uh, this is gonna be simple um, it's not bad there are some frozen spots you can probably see that actually um, <clears throat> there's no right time to do this last year I hit it perfect um, without even trying it just happened I hit it perfect that entire floor was one big solid chunk of ice that acted just like concrete. I obviously am getting to this just a little bit later this year. Actually, it was, it's, it was probably all that rain that we had gotten. So uh, not a big deal. You really got to watch the stones. There's a lot of pit run in here. And, uh, of course, there's some baseball-sized stones, which can, you know, that can be pretty dangerous with the man spread manure. You can't help but get some in there. I don't have one of those uh, fancy uh, rock sensing uh, front end buckets, you know. But uh, yeah, it's going okay. It's going all right. I will definitely be at this all day tomorrow and uh, without a doubt all day Saturday. With a little bit of luck, Saturday this uh, heifer lot will be cleaned out. <laughs> I also want to go up there where it starts to go up on a hill. I want to skim... Uh, skim about two loads worth off up there um, yeah I did a lot of feeding up there last year and I failed to get any loads out of there so I'm gonna skim at least two or three loads from up there and of course I'm actually standing on concrete uh, these feed bunks these are gonna get pushed out of the way moved and this is gonna get scraped crystal clean so uh, I was fortunate enough all afternoon while I was here um, to uh, witness a newborn heifer that we're going to go take a look at. I have never seen a more spunkier, oh her mom is already wagging that head. <clears throat> She's actually already getting upset so we're going to do a lot less talking when I get over there. I've never seen a more spunkier heifer newborn in my entire life. You should have seen that thing. Yeah, she's pretty messy up here, folks. But very lucky compared to other people. So, I'm going to watch the complaints. That's an extra stock tank that's put out this time of year while they're all up on the hill. They obviously have a water, an automatic water in the, the shelter. That shelter's getting real bad. <clears throat> I can't wait to clean that thing out. And uh, we set this out as well. Little convenience factor. Yeah, that's her right there. Yeah, that's call 440. That is an AI sired, <laughs> AI sired heifer. And uh, maybe to one of tomorrow's videos, I'll go through last year's AI sires. And I really need to do one on this year's program.
you're okay. You're okay. You know nobody's gonna hurt you. So that's a new heifer. Anybody wants to make a comment about the condition of these yards, feel free, it's okay. I can't control mother nature and we can't all be asphalt and concrete. Do the best we can. <clears throat> There's another heifer right there. Beautiful little white face that was born two days ago. <clears throat> Got its multi-min 90 and a, uh, a new earring this morning. one of the little bull calves right little fella right go on get you some dinner <clears throat> hey girl Okay, all right, this is 3003. That calf right there was in real bad shape, real bad shape last night, but uh, it's doing really good. We, this is the one of them that we gave a shot a new floor to. <coughs> right, Mama? What do you say, 303? 3003. Uh, yeah, I know I interrupted you. He's doing a lot better. You know I don't mean you any harm. You know it. Well, that's a beautiful little white face heifer, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. That's that, that'll work. So whatever you're into, I guess. Yeah, well, let's leave these mamas alone. Quit bothering them. <clears throat> uh, very happy with the back of the barn here, the way it's held up. Rightfully so, though. There's been a pile of gravel put back here in the last two years. <clears throat> a lot last year. So, uh... Rightfully so that it's held up pretty good Regardless uh, Right before corn silage harvesting time I'll be bringing uh, At least another load in here if not two and kind of do some spot checking So yeah Yeah, it's staying pretty solid Uh, I firmly believe, of course I've been wrong a thousand times, that I'm going to make this spring's corn silage feeding last by emptying out the 18 footer and not having to tap into the 16, which would be real, real nice. Uh, it's about five doors up. <clears throat> which is an exceptional amount of feed. Well, it is for us anyway. So uh, I don't have a whole lot of worries that we will not have to tap into the 16 footer here. Cause here's the deal. There's a year's worth of silage in the 16 foot footer according to our protocol here, our regiment. Um, 
spring and winter silage feeding. So this is basically a very nice insurance policy. That's the way I look at things. I don't know, call me goofy, but makes sense if you don't think about it. So, uh, and then of course I've got enough corn silage that's being done this year to uh, fill half of the 18 footer back up. No more than half though. Um, the rest is for shelled corn, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I fully intend, without a doubt, to be round baling some uh, corn fodder, corn stalks from obviously the shelled corn. Uh, <clears throat> whether it be for bedding, half bedding, half feed for these cows. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Something I need to do here, and I need to write it down for God's sakes. This summer, while everything is just pristine and beautiful right here and doesn't look like this, I need to remember the springs. I really need to build a, basically a damn driveway to the opening over here because they have to fight through this crap every time they want to come down here for a drink. And uh, that just that's just not cutting it. Not to mention these little calves, they have a hell of a time. Not lately, but in the last couple few years or better, we've, we've actually had to go out there and help calf out of there. That's unacceptable. So uh, <clears throat> this summer, maybe even fall, I will be building, let's just say, a road to that opening. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be some cheap-ass sand, but uh, build it up big enough where it's accessible for them because that just that just doesn't need to be right there but no harm no foul you can see the you know this is the north hill the north pasture you can see with the time that's gone by plus you know the fertilizer that got shot on there last week things have got a beautiful green tint to them in fact, let's go take a look at the pasture system. <clears throat> pasture system has uh, turned about three different shades of green since last week, which is great to see. <clears throat> if you keep up with the videos, you'll know I shot 200 pounds to the acre on the whole thing. <clears throat> added in some red clover so yeah pretty happy with what I see here trust me every time I look at my bale yard or the lack thereof this green tint is looking nicer and nicer I really shot myself short I really did I'll admit it I got nothing to hide um, lessons learned keep a better count on your bales I sold a little too much this winter I'm still gonna make it gonna be safe but uh, there is there's no comfort comfort level and uh, that's that's not something that I enjoy so but it's gonna be okay all right folks I'm gonna go spread another load or two or three and that's gonna be it for the evening Looking forward to a nice later dinner. Sit down with some papers. Watch a little bit of YouTube. I was going to say TV, but it ain't TV. It's YouTube. And uh, go from there. Hope everybody's doing okay. Tomorrow is Friday. Early happy Friday to everybody. Stay tuned for a couple of videos. It's probably going to be uh, spreading manure. There's not much else going on. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Got a shout-out Friday video coming tomorrow. Yes, we do, 110%. I failed you last weekend, I know. But I have one in mind this week. It's already spoken for, and I look forward to uh, sharing it with you. But, um, yeah. Everybody enjoy their evening. We'll talk to you sooner or later.